In this tutorial, you can learn how to use autocomplete extender in textbooks in Aspidon and C Sharp. Start Visual Studio. Go to the File menu. Click on New Website. Select Aspidon at Empty Website and name the website. The name is Autocomplete Text Box. Click on OK okay the project is created now add a new form right click in the solution explorer add new item select web form and name the form this is default.spx now i'm gonna add a heading tag to add heading tag put h1 okay heading will be autocomplete text box in this tutorial I will show how to add autocomplete extender in text box and as we done at C shelf. Okay, now I'm gonna add a text box and then I will add Ajax toolkit a reference the DLL and then I will add autocomplete extender in the text box. So select item name I will add item name in the autocomplete text box okay add a text box from the toolbox yes text box is added now this is the ajax control toolkit.dll file i will add reference of this dll file to add reference first of all i'm gonna add a new tab okay name the tab tab is uh, ajax t okay tab is added now right click and choose item select the dll file from the desktop click on open click on ok yes click on ok now as a toolkit dll is added and the control toolkit tools are added in the toolbox okay now go to the chores and in this below the text box add the autocomplete extender from the toolbox just drag and drop yes autocomplete extender is added now for target control id it will target it will target the text box one so for the text box one in the target control id okay enable equal to true enable catching equal to false yes now service method completion interval will be 100 millisecond and completion set count will be 2 minimum prefix length is 1 and if you put one character in the text box it will be autocomplete and display the all the item name and this is the service method now i'm gonna create a service method to add service method with the cs file this is the cs file okay now add uh, script method system dot web script dot service the service ma script method and sir web method now public static list get item list this is a string type is string prefix text must put prefix text uh, as same now list string get item equal to new list string now return get item okay now connect with the sql to connect with the sql add sql connection connect to new sql connection add reference system dot data dot sql client and then for the connection string of the database for the server explorer right click add connection select the server name server name is call me have db authentication sql server authentication password and database is bond db okay the bond db database is created now expand the table and this is the item info table now let's check the records in the database table there are many item name in the database table okay now to get the connection string directing the database in the server explorer go to the property select the connection string and copy paste it in the sql connection in the double quotation okay 
this is the password uh, in the SQL Server database password you should put your SQL Server database password now SQL command SQL command is to select record from the database table so cmd dot command text equal to select uh, item name the database column name is item name so select item name from item info item info is the table name item info where item name like at the rate of text plus sign percent okay now con dot connection equal to con con dot open I mean connection dot open and uh, at the rate of text is parameter so cmd dot parameter dot add with value at the rate of text the add the rate of text will be uh, value from the prefix text okay now using sql data reader r equal to cmd dot executed cmd is the sql command so command dot execute reader while r dot read get item dot add r item name my table column name is item name dot twisting okay yes this is returned get item okay close the connection con dot close okay it's done now just copy the get item list and paste it in the service method okay get item list is in face in the service method look it's done now view in browser oh what a complex required script ma manager so you must add a script manager to get the script manager to the toolbox and just drag the toolkit script manager from the toolbox as a toolkit okay it's done now right click view in browser again put your item name yes when you put n it will display all the items start with n now i'm gonna show only 10 item top 10 yes okay it's working fine it's displaying only 10 items uh, uh, based on the character what i put in the text box one if i put 10 it will display the items which start with the 10 thanks for watching this tutorial